Hello and welcome to this PS Trace tutorial video. Today I would like to show you what you can do in the session data section of PS Trace, learning how to add curves, how to change the appearances of curves, and other some neat little things you can do. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so I already opened some example measurements in PS Trace, um, some CVs and a DPV. And if you look here, into the session data, you can see here two different measurements, which are the um, lines that has this little table icon in front of them, and you see four different curves. That are the ones that have the colorful checkboxes in front of them. They do, as you might have noticed already, give you different context menus when you click on them. Um, if you open if you open a measurement um, line, so the context menu for, for the raw data of, of your measurement, you get this context menu. It allows you to change the name of the experiment, so maybe actually this could have also been, I don't know, patient 1, for example. You can add comments or notes about your measurement that you did. Um, you get the information, which technique was used, where the file is stored, when it was performed and which device was used, including the serial number of the device. Um, what you can do in this context menu, and what I think are the two most important functions are, first, you can create new curves. So these are my, this is, these are all the raw data columns that are in my, um, in this data experiment. So I can, for example, choose to plot the current of scan number three versus the time. So I selected for the y-axis scan number three, the microampere, and I selected for the x-axis time in seconds. And then I can press the add i versus t curve button, and I just created a curve from my raw data. This means, so usually PS Trace chooses for you the expected plot for a measurement. So let's say you're making a CV, so it will make a plot of current versus potential for you. Um, now we have chosen that we want to have a different plot, and we have plotted now the current versus the time. Um, you see, by the way, that between different um, types of plot, you can change here. Okay, what else is in this contact menu that I consider important? Well, that is the view method parameters. When you click that one, you do get this little method editor and it tells you exactly which parameters were used to perform this method. You can actually, if you want to, um, press this button to copy these method parameters into the method editor. Well, we didn't see a change because that was already the measurement that we did. So let's do that for this DPV measurement. And you see now, in the method editor, we have the DPV parameters that were used for this DPV. Um, another neat feature here, well, deleting is sometimes a nice feature, um, but another nice feature is here that shortcut to view the raw data. So you can click on it and you get immediately to the tab that shows you the raw data with like, well, everything that is recorded. Um, you can copy this to clipboard or you can also choose other um, curve data or raw data depending on what you're interested in. Um, that was all the information about the data file context menu that I just wanted to cover here. But what now I want to cover is the curve context menu. Because you can also click on a curve and you get a context menu that allows you to change the name of the curve. And this is something I highly recommend. I recommend changing the names of your measurements and curves from their default names to measurement or experiment specific names. This makes it easier when you will in the future load multi multiple um, PS Trace files, so the PS Session files, into one PS Trace session. Um, yeah, then you will load all these measurements and they will have individual names, making it easy for you to see which measurement is which. Other things you can do here is changing the function of the curve and except for the blanks, the other ones are only important for analytical mode, so I might talk about this in a later video. 
but for now, usually you don't need the curve functions. You can change the appearance by changing the color or um, changing um, which kind of symbol you want to have, if you want to have a symbol, if you want to have a line, no line, etc. Right. Um, then we have um, the option to isolate this in the plot. Um, that's especially if you have like a lot of curves and now you want to look carefully at a single one. You just press this button and only this curve will be visible in your plot. By the way, if you want to toggle curves on and off, just check or decheck that box. Okay. So um, view curve data works just as view raw data, which I have shown you. And then a last interesting function is to assign a curve to a secondary axis. So um, let's say we want to compare a CV and the current that we plotted versus time. All right. Oh, no, that was not a great idea because they have um, different um, X axis. It's easier with the same X axis. You can also do it with different X axis if you want to. But let's stay with simple, with simple examples for now. Okay, so let's say I want to have the DPV on a different um, current scale because the currents are actually not really comparable because a DPV plot is, uh, plots a differential current while a CV plots the directly measured current. So um, while, having, while in the plot where I want to have the curve on the secondary axis, I click on the curve that I want to put on the secondary axis and I put now the Y values on the right Y axis. I click it and now you see that the um, DPV measurement is now using the right axis while the CV is using the left axis. Um, these are all the functions from, oh wait, there's also delete if you want to get rid of a curve. For example, if you think like actually this wasn't a great idea, just delete it and it's gone. Um, I think these are all the important functions. The rest you can explore by your yourself. And um, that was everything that I wanted to show you in this video. So thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.